Hello and welcome to yet again another vlog. Today's vlog will be a little bit less interactive than the previous ones. We got no fancy cars to tune today, but we got some nice projects coming up. And also, you may be wondering what can a bad tune do to the engine because, yeah, you can say it's bad tune, it's bad tune, but why are there so less engines that break? Well, I show you some things today. We got one who broke, so let's just go on. So this particular car we have in is a E91 335D. Uh, the car came in because uh, the engine was always uh, making pressure on this water. So the client was thinking the head gasket was blown, but we took the head off and we discovered some damage. I have to say the engine has a, a cracked head, but also the piston on the sixth cylinder is cracked as well. So I show you some things. I show it in real life. It can happen. It really can happen because of a bad tune. Uh, for instance, this particular car, uh, if we, we, of course, we took a look in, into the software and we saw again that uh, exhaust temperature limiters were switched off. The car was driven hard uh, from the owner, but nevertheless, the engine should not break because if you keep just all limiters active, nothing should just break because uh, the engine computer should just uh, prevent from temperatures keep climbing too high until there comes some damage so let's show you some of the damage uh, to the head it's really 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 not pleasant to show to the client but it is what it is you have to fix it nevertheless okay so here we have the slender head uh, slender one two three four five six uh, if you look into so these are the uh, inlet falls these are the exhaust falls if you look into the the fourth and five, uh, the fourth and fifth cylinder. You can see there is just a crack between the inlet and exhaust valve. You see, it's quite bad. We pressure tested the slender head, and the shop called us uh, to tell that uh, the cracks, the cracks were, yeah, were just uh, that bad. So the head can be reused anymore because yeah, the cracks go far in between uh, the head. So actually, the head is just uh, scrap. So we can't reuse it anymore, so I called the client, the client uh, delivered us a new head to put on his engine. But when we, we want to just assemble the engine again, we discovered uh, that the piston on the sixth cylinder was cracked as well. I'll show you some pictures of that as, as well in a minute. So let's just have a look to the pistons, i show you what's wrong with them. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we have the engine block uh, with the slender head removed. If you look into the sixth cylinder, you'll see on the back there is a crack into the piston so I don't know if you notice it well on the screen on the video but it's definitely yeah it's just broken uh, we can't reuse the engine we can't assemble it like this we we, uh, we decided to take out the complete engine and we do we'll do a full rebuild on the engine so uh, new pistons uh, engine will be machined uh, new bearings everything will be measured so we'll cover that in another vlog it will be a nice new vlog with uh, the rebuild of the engine and of course uh, final tuning of the engine with some dyno work everything so as you see uh, we, we are telling no jokes about uh, the danger of switching off the limiters it's really 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 important that they just uh, stay active okay you have to adjust them uh, properly to your application but nevertheless they just have to stay active uh, you see the engine can really 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 suffer from uh, engine failure because of that uh, just because if the engine if the exhaust temperature becomes really hot yeah as you see the pistons does crack uh, slender head is possible crack but even worse than that you can also have a broken turbo so basically just all the components are not built for that high of temperatures uh, the limiters are there for a reason so we just have to keep them active besides this uh, we have also one series uh, in one series with a diesel engine a 3 liter diesel m57 engine car came in with some problems as well uh, the the engine was always going into limp mode uh, client bought car like that it was just a track car uh, with a hybrid turbo and everything uh, mounted on it but car is not performing as it should as you said uh, every time every time we push the car uh, it just goes into limp mode we put it on the dyno i saw you some of the results uh, it's just not looking that good, the mop was uh, really terrible uh, because of that uh, the high pressure fuel pump wasn't able to keep up uh, with the amount of fuel that has to be injected so rear pressure was just uh, falling down yeah, 800-900 bar of the 1800 bar it runs so 
really, 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 really bad. So we just uh, put a new map on it. So if you look to the curve, you'll see uh, torque was peaking really fast. Uh, car was delivering a lot of torque, but as you see, uh, the torque uh, fades away immediately because the car just go into limp mode. Uh, due to that, car wasn't uh, making as much power as it should. Uh, but also, it was not reliable. You can go on track like that. Uh, we just made the base map uh, some with some safe uh, numbers in it, just to see what car how the car would respond to it. Uh, as you see, uh, torque is quite smooth. Uh, power delivery is not bad. Just as told, it's not that high, but it's just a conservative map, just to, to see, to do some diagnostics to what the problem uh, actually was to the car. So we'll have now a good starting point. Where we'll, uh, we'll install the bigger pump and start tuning from there. And as said, uh, the results would be quite uh, interesting for just such a small car. Okay guys, that was it for today. Uh, if you liked it, just don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get a notification every when we upload a new video. As promised, we'll uh, upload some of the more fun videos with some interactive stuff, tuning and, and just uh, some dino stuff in the future. But first we have to fix this car so we can make some new content. So stay tuned for more.